Happy Monday, I'm Molly Sanier. It started with Molly and I'm so excited for tonight's episode because I have a special guest who I'm going to enter or er, get him to call it out, Colin yes. Sandler. Guys, What's I've been up? tagging Colin Sandler. Cheers. Cheers. So excited to I'm have so excited you. excited to be here. Guys, Colin Sandler Ceramics, I've tagged him, was a rising junior yes. my first year teaching high school ceramics. So I was never his teacher. That was a question we got. I was yeah. never Colin's teacher. And he's 21 now. I'm finally 21. It's about time. Y'all know I love to be able to cheers and drink. So yes, it's so fun. Yep. And Colin won best in show at his spring art show I of did. the senior year. Yes. Yeah. It's going to be a treat to have him. He's going to do some shape faces. But first, I want to give a huge shout out to our sponsor. I love having a sponsor because yeah, it allows great. something to happen. <laughs> Diamond Core Tools. Diamond Core Tools. Diamond Core Love Tools. Them. Colin uses them too. I do. They're great. Diamond Core Tools makes the sticky um, sanding disc so you can just put it on and let the wheels spin and sand your pot. Mm -hmm. They make this trimming spinner, which I've been showing in some of my trimming videos. So if you have a thin bottom, like I, this was already a thin bottom. I cut a hole through it. Okay, yeah. But if you have a thin bottom, you can put that there oh, and have yeah. downward pressure and not push through it. So, there like, I mean, I can't push through that without this. That was a perfect example of pushing through it. Yeah. Yeah, was, but yeah. I, I cut through it. This is too thin. <laughs> but the trimming spinner just lets you push down hard and trim away. And sanding pads, which, Colin, you said you have Those seen are these. the best, yeah. Well, these. What do you have? So, you have mine are like. Oh, no, mine are these. So, what's okay. the difference between the silver This and... is the sanding pad, and this is the flexible sanding Ooh, pad. Feel it? Okay. Feeling. Oh, this I is nice. love the flexible ones. Yeah. I mean, they, this is still pretty flexible, but this is like really flexible. Yeah, this is this would be nice for the side of your pods. Yeah, yeah. and like if you have a curved area. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I love Ooh. these because you have to use them with water, so it eliminates the sanding dust, which is terrible. Yeah. And if you see up close, it comes in a variety of grits. So many. Yeah. I know. Great. It's like a it's game changer. <laughs> Diamond Core Tools, I love them, love but them. my real favorite. Oh, and look at this. Oh, what these, is that? These are like sanding files, so you can like... Ooh. File your pot and then file your nails right after. It's perfect. <laughs> to two, two in two one. Two yeah. of my nails, maybe. But, so sanding pads, but Diamond Core, what they really make that I love are these mm. sticky... Have you used these? I yet? need one. Like have you I, used one yet? No, I've never used one, and I've always seen you use them. I'm so curious. We got these at school. We got a couple... And it's a game changer for plates specifically. Like, I hate it plates. Yeah. And then I found the sticky bat, and I love plates because basically I can put this on my bat or my wheel. It goes right on, and then here is like a plate. I did the outside, but it's still too wet. Oh yeah. And you can just draw your own lines on the sticky bat, diamond core tool sticky bats, and you can get it clean and spinning. Put it on there, and then you hold it in place with. I would recommend. I didn't think I'd like the trimming spinner. I don't know where I put it. Oh, right there, right there. Right there, yeah, right there, right there. <laughs> right there. Trimming spinner, and it allows you to distribute that pressure so you don't push right through it. Oh, that's and perfect. it's just a game changer. It's great. It's a game changer. So Diamond Core Tools, thank you so much for the sponsorship on tonight's episode. Yes. Let's get into it. Let's Colin, get tell into them it. what you're going to do. All right, so tonight, um, I guess I'm going to be doing some cylinders, my favorite shape. Uh, I think it's they're the most versatile shape for sure. And I'm going to be doing some shaping, which is very important with cylinders. You can make them to be anything you want. Yes. So we're just going to play. We're going to play. Fun. Cheers. Cheers. We're going to yeah, have cheers. fun. Cheers. And cool. we get so many, I get a lot of questions about shaping pieces. Um, I was showing Colin when the ABC Blair Clemo was on and he shaped a base. Colin, if you haven't checked out his Instagram, which I'm so proud of Colin for having a ceramics Instagram, yes. <laughs> that's a must. If you are watching on a, your personal account and you're a potter and you want to like start doing shows and selling oh, yeah, your work, sure. you need a business need exposure. clay Instagram. I think it's easier than a website too. I still have yet to make a website oh, and I know. Because you weren't my but, student. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've got to, I'll help you. I'm using yeah. this bat because I'm going to handle something. So You've got clay bat. right there. This is like, what, what's, um... What's the difference between a wooden bat? This I've actually had since Jamie on. So it's oh, like wow. Flipping. Yeah. So, this is just my widest one. I want to go like a wide, 
uh, planter. Is yours turned on? Is it right now? It's on. Cool. And this kettle does stick a little. Okay, that's fine. So guys, Colin Sandler won Best in Show. Yes. 2000, what year was that? 2016. 2016, yeah. wow. And guys, now he's 21. Yes. He's never my student, but I watched from afar as he would be in the studio every day. His junior, I came as a teacher his junior year. So his junior and senior year, he was just in the studio, in the studio. Always. In Lunch Perfect. breaks, yeah. Lunch breaks. In his work, it showed. He won best in show. He was dedicated. Dedicated. You have to be. You have to be. That's how you improve. <laughs> Dedication. Hard work. So it's a treat. So Colin's in here. He's going to start with some, what does every shaped vase come from? A cylinder. A cylinder. Yep. So he's gonna start with cylinders. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna do some hand building and try to make like a taller planter because last summer all mine shattered and broke. Mm. Yeah, hey guys, thanks for there. tuning in. Yeah. Send the questions. We've got some of the questions at 7:20 and 7:40. We're gonna read them. Do you have any friends out there? Anyone want to say hello? His sister's in my class, <laughs> Kate Sandler. I wonder if she's out there. So also, Colin is starting with some. Nice new wedge clay. Ugh. I am using my recycled colored clay. So this is gonna have swirls of different recycled scraps, but not really sure. And I have not wedged this. Hmm. But you don't normally, well. I wedge everything. You wedge everything. I wedge everything. Okay, but you had a video of you wedging. throwing without wedging. It still yes. works, right? Because cutting up yeah. and cutting down is like wedging on the wheel. It is. So that's, I'm gonna kind of start. Ugh. All right. It on? It's on, but it's a little sticky. Get okay. used to the to that first. Thing. Yeah. Right. Get your bearings. Hi, my friend. Hi, my friend. Right back at you. So I just like those big air bubbles. Can you see those air bubbles? But we're just gonna. I might give it a little wedge here on the wheel. This oh, is hey, gonna be my hey. base. <laughs> and I'm gonna throw a base and then use coils to get some height. That's what I'm gonna do. So any tips, tricks for how you throw? Because what, we, we were just live for the pre-show with yes. my at Throne with Molly membership and the members. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about how I love offering that membership because everyone needs as many teachers as you can have. Yeah. And I was telling her too, um, so I learned ceramics at Trinity, which is the, te the school that she teaches at. And I only had one ceramics teacher the whole entire time. But I think that watching YouTube videos and Instagram videos just like this really helps me the most. So as many teachers and inputs and tips that you can get just from online or anything, I think that kind of makes the biggest difference for yes. sure. Yes. Yeah. And the third of all membership, it's only $9.95 a month, which if you do the whole year, that's less than even signing up for a class. So I think it's worth it. Yeah. And you get more one-on-one -on -one tips and tricks and how-to videos and behind the scenes and the pre-shows like we just did. And she loves her members. She and I love my members. I accidentally <laughs> posted a story <laughs> some of you might have seen on Molly Sanders Ceramics for Throne of Molly members, and I was like, I love y'all, you're my favorite. Mm. Whoops. It's okay. Y'all are my favorites, too. We love everyone here. We love everybody who loves clay. Yeah, we are clay enthusiasts. Clay enthusiasts. <laughs> and I can feel the air bubbles popping. I'm just kind of wedging this on the wheel, um, getting some of the air bubbles out, even though I'm going to kind of be hand building mostly, which will kind of also work out some of those bubbles. And we're just playing tonight. We're playing. So which type of wedging method is that? That was the spiral. That was the spiral wedging. Um, spiral wedging, yeah. Which my members, I've done how to videos. So, and now I'm, this is, I don't know how much clay this is. I never really weigh my yeah. clay, but love how you can wheel, wedge, and converse. Yeah. Stay tuned. We're going to try to even throw and converse. We're going to try. <laughs> We're going to try. Colin's here throwing base or cylinders, and then he's going to shape them. Yes. So guys, Colin has never been my student, which I have had students who want to come on Throne with Molly, and I'm like, one, and you need to be 21, because it's way more fun when we can cheers and oh, drink. it's so fun. Let's cheers Which I've told Colin. Colin. Yeah. Colin, what have I been telling you? Only two drinks, otherwise I can't drive home, which is great. Very good tip. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so don't worry, I'm sure my mom is tuning in, and like, you cannot have been drinking, and <laughs> mom, I got it covered. He knows. So I'm going to just kind of cone up this up and down and push the center, and then I'm going to coil build on top and do some kind of big planter. Oh, look, my mom gave a thumbs up. Good. Mom, good. I knew it. <laughs> she was going to be like, he is too young, and he can't do it, and he can't. Oh, Barton. 21. Barton and I did um, a clay portrait sculpture class together. Ooh. In Richmond. Like hand building? Hand it was like, you know how you see those bronze portraits of people? Oh, yeah. 
It was like that. Really? But we did it with clay. Oh, that's super cool. It was amazing. And yeah. Barton does like full figure sculptures. Wow, that's awesome. Out of awesome. bronze and things. Hello, hello, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Can you reach hey. everything? Because I'm realizing oh, yeah, that I'm everything's fine. a little far away from me. I'm totally fine. Yay! So Colin's in the house, guys. Yes. First in place winner of our whole entire art show, mm -hmm. spring 2016. Now he's off in college. He's what year are you in college? So I'm a junior, but I'm definitely gonna be there for a couple extra years. Good for you. Look, hello from um, Argentina. Oh, hello, Argentina. So Colin's a junior, senior. Uh, senior? junior technically. Well, I guess no. Now I'm a rising senior. Rising it's senior. Summer, but I'll definitely be there for an extra like two more years. And did you go <laughs> on to take ceramics in college? So I did not. Um, I kind of wanted. To, I. I really like math and science, which Ooh. seems weird, I know, it's but okay. I also have a huge passion for art, so I wanted to be able to do both of them, and uh, so I chose not to do art in college, but I definitely wanted to keep the hobby going, for sure. Yeah. So, uh, I was just talking about this on the pre-show, but I had always wanted to get a studio of my own, but the kind of the most expensive thing to buy was um, a kiln that can be like up to $3,000, yeah. and I didn't have the win. funds for that. So, uh, actually, my ceramics teacher, the other one at Trinity, named Amy, Amy Chaplin. Chaplin. We She's love been her. on Throne of Molly. Y'all have seen her. We love her. We love she, her. She had a friend that was actually kind of retiring from ceramics, and she sold her kiln to me for $200. So it's a good price. Yeah, which I think it was like the best price we've ever seen. So, after that, I decided that I needed to have a studio of my own, and I kind of splurged on the wheel, but everything else I've just kind of been getting as I go. And but, so, yeah. okay, curious question out there. If you're watching, Yes, you have your own studio. No, you don't. One word answer. Yes. Let's see. No. Yes, you have your own studio. No, you don't. And if you're a Trinity studio or student, that doesn't <laughs> count because that's not yours. What am I making? I'm going to make a hand built planter. Hey, Russia. Guys, at 7.20, we're going to map you out. So we have Argentina, Russia. What time is it in Russia? Yeah, what time wow. is it in Russia? Barton. Oh, yeah, so the clay sculpture class. So. We did clay portraits, and we learned to use calipers to like oh, yeah. measure and build yeah. up and break down and yeah, it's cool. It's very cool. Where, is that through a visual arts center? No, it was through um, the classical realism. It's a studio, like a personal studio in Manchester. Oh. In that um, what is it called? By Plant Zero, Plant Zero Cafe, or somewhere down there, Algeria. <laughs> Hello! I don't know that we've marked wow. Algeria. Do you know? Are you good with geography? I'm awful. Me geography. too. But I love it. That's why I love to um, learn. Yeah. And Algeria, can you give us a hint when we're trying to map you? Like, where do we look? What is Algeria? Near? Oh, right there. Algeria yes. in Africa. Yes. Wow. Thanks Welcome. for tuning in. So I'm kind of making a base that I'm going to hand build on, and I'm going to just try to coil up, 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 and make yeah. a tall. Uh, oh, it's 8.15 p.m. in Argentina. Wait, so you're really? an hour. That's crazy. I know. Argentina is, oh, oh Argentina. Yeah, yeah. You're in line with us. You're just one hour different. So I'm going to try to create my base and compress it and get it level and then get this a little pull and then compress, get it dry, and I'm going to add some coils, get some height. Yeah. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Monday night, they're in with Molly. I think this is episode 49. We've been doing this for a while. It's Crazy. so fun, though. Isn't it fun on it a Monday fun. night? It is fun. Oh, I love it. it Colin good. Sandler Ceramics. Yes. Colin, what are, what are you doing with your cylinder? So right now I'm just doing a little warm-up cylinder. Trying okay. to get my hands back on the wheel. Because, Colin, you said you haven't thrown in... It's probably been, like, just a month or two because I've been doing... Um, studying for exams. Oh, like, yeah, like exams. Like a good student. Yep. But I did do a stagger, like, two weeks ago, which is kind of my focus. Which yes. we can get more into as yeah. well. But, yeah, I did that, like, two weeks ago, so that's kind of, like, the last time I done much pottery but yeah and i'm sure some people out there it's been a little while yeah. and some of them have never thrown everybody's all yeah. over the place so you're well, warming up with the cylinder yeah I'm trying to get my first pull like, and i just kind of removed a bunch of stuff because it was all uneven because you know if you saw it, i didn't really even wedge this and it's recycled yeah. colored clay so it's got a lot of inconsistencies so i'm just trying to really anchor and let the inconsistencies pull themselves out before i do any throwing or moving on So, do you have any tips for your first pull? Do you usually use your Ooh, fingertips? Ooh, good question. Or... Tip for first pulls. I, on a first pull, you, David Camden, who's also been on Third with Molly, mm -hmm. came and did an artist in residence with Colin yes. in his class, and he did the method that I did. Oh, I missed your first pull, but Ugh. it was there. Yeah. 
We can, we can go back and watch we it. We can go back. I, okay, if it's small, I usually use just a sponge in like my knuckle or my fingertips, but if it if it's like a bigger piece, I try and use the heel of my hand and like, push into it. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Yeah. So to you, what is big? Um, well, like, I, I don't weigh my clay either. Weigh? Yeah, I don't weigh my clay either, but, um, I would say, I don't know, like, anything that's above a foot and a half tall, probably. But how many like, pounds of clay? I know, I'm trying to think. I would guess probably 12 pounds. 12, yeah, yeah, I'd say that's like, big. Yeah. Because so, some people that tune in, they're like, I can't throw more than one pound. Four pounds is yeah, big. Yeah, Is this four pounds, you said? I think that's pounds? four pounds. Okay, yeah. So to you, that's, like, tiny. Yeah, I would say I would normally, if I was going to do like a big piece or a sculpture or something, um, I would do yeah, probably around like 10 pounds. But I also like to combine my pieces too to get extra height. So that's also another good method if you can't throw too big. Yeah, well, in terms of throwing big, that's definitely one of the ways I would always recommend is throw multiple pieces. Yeah, for sure. Use calipers, measure them out, and stack them and stack them. David Camden did one on this mm -hmm. on his episode. He was actually the first one to show me that. I'm yeah. pretty sure. Yeah, he that's why it's nice to have a different teacher. Yeah, 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 yeah. Super cool. And did using the torch stuff. helps a lot, so you can have consistent drying time. Yeah, if you get like a wet, flimsy spot, you put a torch on it, and boom, yeah. it firms right up. So, and I'm going to do another method of throwing big, which is one that I find that if I, okay, so sectional pieces is a great way to get height, and this way is also a great way to get height. I can, I, I have a tips and tricks for like, to throw bigger, you need more clay, and I have tips and tricks for centering more clay, but I find that starting with one big mound of clay, it mm -hmm. doesn't necessarily get taller. Yeah, oh, Sometimes I agree. it gets wider. So you do the coils, right? So, well, that was that pot out there. I yeah. showed you with the hydrangea. I, I posted it. I did that with coils, and it just goes right vertical. That's, yeah, that's perfect. I've never But I've never the sectionals it. are just as good. Yeah. Both require patience, which who Lots likes? Lots of patience. Yeah. In drying time. And, yeah. yeah. Which is why we've got a torch nearby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This is so fun to yeah, throw in college. <laughs> guys, have we ever thrown before together? I, I mean, think I... yeah, kind of, because when you would have class, guys, if you're tuning in, thanks for tuning in. Hello to you, right back at you, and waves oh, right no, back. I need to be reading these comments. Hey, guys, yes. what's up? We're going to be answering questions here shortly. We have a yeah, timer cheers. to go off. Cheers. cheers. I don't know why these are always so dirty. Like, yeah, they're, they're they're probably probably sorry. Sorry. I have clay at the bottom of mine, but look. Mm. Argentina. Argentina, Argentina represents. Yeah. We're about to map y'all out. And I always see Argentina. Argentina is this. always represents. Yeah, they are. <laughs> but um, it's so fun to throw with Colin because if you're tuning in just now, Molly Sander, throw it with Molly, episode I think 49, Colin, Colin Sandler, Sandler Ceramics. Hey. I've been tagging him in the stories. I'll tag him again. Follow him. He, how old are you, 21? I'm 21 now, yes. He is 21 right now, which is why I had to wait for to have him on the show until mm -hmm. now. And he was a high school junior my first year teaching in high school. So I was never his teacher because he did the IB program with my coworker Amy Chaplin, who's been on Throne of Molly a couple mm -hmm. times. She's wonderful. And Colin was always her student and in the IB program, so I would just get to watch him from afar. And I think part of why he won Best in Show his senior year, 2016. Mm -hmm. All right. 16. 2016. Best in show right here. Best in show, every medium. It was, um, it was an honor. It, really it was, was his dedication. It really was, yeah. He, I had no idea. That he that didn't was. mess around. Like, he wasn't like, oh, I've got to leave early. Oh, I'm going to go hang out with my friends. Like, yeah. you were working. You're yeah, working. Yeah, it was. And that's the only way to really improve. I think, like, part of it, too, was just the stress relief and just having something else to focus on other than school. And it's, like, your work. You can, it's visual. I'm a very visual learner. So, a lot yes. of it was seeing that and. It's also very satisfying. Like I just love to be. I just and it's the growth, fun. guys. He improved yeah. a lot. I mean. Oh, I did. I mean, I, I could was... barely even center sometimes. But yeah, when I first started, it took me probably two years before I had to before I was ever able to center without having Amy Chaplin's hands. <laughs> <on top of mine. laughs> sure. uh, I think we've all been there. I tell them all the time. I was a ceramics major and couldn't even yeah. trim my pots. I didn't know how to trim. Well, look at you now. Now it's your favorite thing to do. Now it's my favorite yeah. thing to do. Thanks to Diamond Core yes. Tools, our tonight's sponsor. Really, Diamond Core Tools makes such a game-changing difference. If you don't have any, you got to get some. So, wow, look at that nice cylinder. Little, look at that cylinder. Little, little cylinder to start. Yes, <laughs> yes. Guys, if you're tuning in, Colin is going to demonstrate shaping with um, rib tools. So yes. every shaping comes from a nice, perfect cylinder, which means... 
your thickness is the same thickness from the bottom to the top. You want you don't want a thick bottom and a thin bottom. You want to get it even thickness and then start your shoe mm -hmm. game. Yeah, exactly. And I am adding coil. So I threw this bottom of recycled clay. I have some recycled clay right next to me, and I'm just gonna put some coils on here and get some height. I'm doing a couple, maybe one last pull or two, and then I'm gonna start shaping. That's our, our alarm. That's our alarm for questions. And I see Ooh. something here. I'm beginning to learn on the potter's wheel. Do you think it's hard to learn? Colin, take it away. Do you think learning ceramics is hard? All right. I don't, I think hard is kind of a hard way to, oh, that's, all right. <laughs> I think it's kind of a, I would say it's hard in some ways, but also um, it, it really just depends on how much effort you're willing to put into it. Um, if you have a passion for it, which I didn't, I didn't even know what pottery was. I didn't even know anything about ceramics when I first started. I had never even done anything more than like a pinch pot before. Yeah. And I think just that passion kind of grows just the more that you do it. And if it clicks for you and you really enjoy you doing enjoy it, it, yeah, then you're going to have the passion to learn more and keep going. It's not going to feel hard or it's not going to feel like work, which is how it was for me. Yeah. And it's still, you have your frustrating days. Yeah. You're just yeah. talking about like, I still look. I think we showed this on here. Yeah. I still have pots that I throw too thin on yeah. the bottom and cut through. I mean, it still happens. I still get cracks in my yeah. pots. It still happens. My stuff explodes all the time from being too thick. I'll, Exploding. Yeah. Oh, things will fall worst. off my wheel. Yeah. It takes time. Exactly. I like to say that learning pottery on the wheel is like two things. One, learning how to tie your shoes and two, like learning how to ride a bike. Right, right. Yes. Both of them, when you're young, you don't know how to tie your shoe and somebody else just ties their shoe, that you're like, oh, they, it looks so easy. Yeah. And then you try it, and you're like, I can't get it. And then once you learn it, you can't, you can not look and tie your shoe, and you got it. Same thing with riding a bike. You get on, you fall off. You get on, you fall off. And then something clicks, yeah. and you just ride off into the sunset. You yeah. never fall off again, because you can't forget it. Oh, hi, Colin, from Jack Upper Oh, hi, Jack. Hey, Jack. Jack, your sister we is my you too. <laughs> Wait, his sister and your sister are my advisees. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's crazy. They're both so good. Jack, I love you. What's love up? Love you, Jack. <laughs> love you. So fun. Yeah. So, guys, yeah. this is so fun to have Colin, because he mm -hmm. was just a high school student not yeah. too long ago. Now he's a college student. Now I'm in college. He's not majoring in ceramics, crazy. either. No, I'm not. Not his major, but he no. has a ceramics Instagram. He has his own studio. If He's you love it pots. and you don't want to stop, then why should you have to stop? Oh, well, yeah, like, I like you guys and look at all the emojis. I love aw. emojis. Oh, yeah, you, you do love emojis. <laughs> you can speak, you don't need to know the language, but with yeah. emojis, yeah. you can communicate. So I'm doing all right, a trick. All right, so, okay, tell us what you're doing. Um, I'm doing that little trick where you, uh, what's it called? This little wooden uh, fettle knife, right? Uh, I call that. it a wooden knife. Okay, yeah, a wooden knife. Um, actually, I should have cut a little bit more off of this, but. Okay. Um, yeah, so if you have like a little extra clay on the bottom of your pot, it's nice to just cut it away before you start, you can either before you start pulling up or before you start shaping, because, yeah, because then you can, you don't have to trim it away when you're done. It's kind of a little pre-trimming. Pre-trimming, yeah. exactly what I call it, too, pre-trimming. Yeah. And then also, we got Dave here. What are you studying? Because, yeah, he's not studying yeah, ceramics. So ceramics is just his passion. And, guys, you don't have to major is. in it. It can just be your passion. It is, yeah. So I, I first went to college and started studying mechanical engineering. It was not good. No, I hated it. <laughs> it was, I, I did it for two years, and then I decided to switch to business. So now I'm doing fintech, which I still don't love. Um, What's fintech? It's called, fin it's financial, so fin is financial, oh. and then tech is technology, so I think it'll be important. Like and to make you, apps? Like what do you do with that? It's like, so right now I'm taking like a coding class, which I have to like fake, I have to fake love it so that I can get into it. You know, Wait, you coding fake, like make your website? Because you said you've never made a website. Well, this is coding for like statistics, so it's not, it's not oh as fun. Yeah, yeah, it's not fun at all. I don't like, a but you are a mechanical engineer. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it sounds that, so smart. Yeah, yeah, it does. I know. Yeah, anytime I would tell people that, Colin's I was like, smart. don't expect much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, definitely people that do it, I really, I really uh, have a lot more respect for them now because it is hard. It's you really know, hard. It sounds hard. Oh my god, yeah, it, it is. Sounds not fun. Cri it's not sounds fun. hard. Yeah. It sounds not fun. <laughs> clay yeah. is fun. You just play with clay. Clay is fun. It's great. Clay is fun, but a lot of people feel like they can't major in it because it's not. Yeah, I Money think, maker. I think, well, you know, a prime example of kind of taking it away from the ordinary artist perspective is Molly Sander right here. I mean, you like just really did it best having a whole Instagram account and you've got members, everything like that. So I think like... The membership is fun. Yeah. You should become a member. Yeah, you should. 
And I think no matter what you do, as, as long as you have a passion for it. And as long as like, you're doing it every day, like a yeah. little something every day towards your passion. Yeah. Like Colin might not have been in his own studio for a month, and he might not be in it for another month, but at least he's here tonight, and yeah. he's doing a little something, and... Just, you gotta keep it going. You can't forget your but if roots. I could I quit my job and do pottery full-time, I would... Oh my gosh, okay, just remember, the alarm had gone off to do questions. Oh, yeah. to... All right, I'm gonna clean my hands. You can keep shaping. All right. And I'm gonna ask some of your viewer questions that y'all have sent in. Yeah. Okay, at Henry Bronzo 3 did I teach him, Colin? The answer is no. Um, she, so I actually saw her when she first started interviewing to have the job at our school. Yeah, and oh wait, let's talk about that. Yeah, we so, mentioned it earlier. Yeah, so I was taking a summer class actually right before IB. It was like my last prerequisite before I could get into the IB program. And she came to one of my summer classes. Yeah. Or actually it was a few, wasn't it? it was yeah, I went yeah. for a week. I wanted to go for the second week, but I yeah. couldn't. So we just, yeah, I met her, loved her, fell in love. Were you there friend. when I had to do my pre lesson? Yes. You were? Yeah, so I what was. Because yeah. I it's so cringy. Did you do the, was it the texture? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember so that. <laughs> but, I remember telling Amy Chaplin, who is the head of the department, who's been on here, who was Colin's teacher, mm -hmm. that I can't believe he'll hire me with those pods. I mean, she was no. like, you didn't <laughs> hire you for the pods. It was, yeah, like, it was. Okay. It was her personality. We love her. Well, um, not that I hired, but yeah, you were great. <laughs> I'm sure y'all's opinions matter. Mm. All right. How? Okay. This is a good one from Crocheting Box. How do you go back a few steps when you realize the walls are too thin after pulling up? Hmm. Okay. So like, I would, if that was too thin, what would you do? If this was too thin, I would say I would get a rib to try and get off the extra slip because when it's dry, it is more sturdy. <laughs> so I would also get a torch because that yeah. would help dry it up. But honestly, if your walls are too thin and it's starting to wobble, um, sometimes it's just a lost cause. And there's there's really not much yeah. else you can do to recycle the clay and start from scratch. Or you can kind of just like put it back into a ball and start throwing from that again and get out the air bubbles. But yeah, yeah, I mean, I think I would agree. I think put a rib on it. A rib strengthens things. So if you have a thin spot with a thick spot, it's because you squeeze too hard right there and got really thin. Mm -hmm. And so you might have squeeze kind of and squeeze really hard and then relax and you have thick thin thick and if you put a rib on it just let it rotate 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 for slow example. release slow release yeah yep. right there <laughs> rib and the rib helps just strengthen things up a bit but yeah sometimes it just wants to collapse you just need to start fresh or you can also try it's a little more challenging anchor your elbows against your body and take this negative space in your thumbs and like oh color re it. Oh, push yeah. it down but you can get air bubbles and things and Anchor. Yeah. All right, so Colin's got a cylinder, and for all those who've been wondering about shaping, yes, so we can shape this any way. I usually like to do kind of wider on the bottom and then a little bit taller up top because it kind of guides your eye up. And Wait, say that again. Wider. So the... wider on the bottom and then mm -hmm. a little bit um, thinner. Narrow. On the, yeah, narrower okay. on the okay. way up. So I do usually. I, I don't know. I have like a weird style where it's like just two bumps, and it's like a little bulbous form that I love to do. So I guess I'll do that first as a little demo. So I just grab my rib, and ribs are really helpful because you can press into it. So um, when you're kind of worried about like pushing too hard on your clay or the walls collapsing, it's nice to have something like sturdy on the outside to push into. So I guess I'll start here, and I'm just pushing with my inside hand out and slowly trying to get that wall out. And it's all right if it wobbles because you can always save it at the end, so I don't usually freak out too much. That's a good tip, don't yeah. freak out. Yeah, you just have to, I mean, even if, even if you know it's gonna collapse, you just kinda have to try until that very last second because- And breathe. Yeah. So, Look at that nice ball of yellow yeah. shade. I see it coming. Push now, I'm going slow. Because if you go fast, which I have definitely a mistake, done done that before as a mistake. Um, sometimes it'll like push out three quarters of the wall and then not the other one so it gets off center on one side and then yeah. It's just very easy. Yeah and it's hard when you watch Instagram videos and they're all sped up because you want to yeah. just go fast but in real life it's like it has to rotate. Mm -hmm. It has to rotate. And then it has to rotate once more. Rotate, rotate, <laughs> rotate. Slow release. Pushing out again. And also, I think it's good to point out that Colin is anchored here, and his this is his right arm, even though it's mm -hmm. backwards there, and that both hands are connected. Yes. It's, as many times as I can, I always want my two hands to be touching, so when I'm taking my first pull, or any pulls for that matter, I my hands aren't like in contact, but the second that I can reach my thumb over, I always try to do that because you have more stability. So, yeah. Yeah. We're centering color in up here to oh, try and yes. get a little bit more shape to it. 
So I think one thing to mention here is he created the volume pushing out, and now he's getting the skinny neck. Mm -hmm. So you kind of want to get that skinny neck and then call yeah. it. And over here, I am just trying, I'm going to just add coils. So this layer is kind of thin and wet, so if I keep adding, it just might want to... So I'm trying to dry it out and stiffen it up with the torch a little bit. That's what's happening over here. Look at that nice shape. Yeah, Look at that nice shape. It's a fun yes. Form. Yes. Amy Chapman used to always say, "I throw very feminine forms, kind of like a, a body type shape." Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. I just like it. I love it's having Amy Chaplin tell me what I'm making. I know. Why. Yeah, she knows. It's a treat. Yeah. It's a treat. I was like, I had to write an artist statement for something, and you know, as a teacher, yeah. I don't have to write any yeah. statements, the kids do. And I was like, I don't know why I'm making <laughs> this stuff. And she's like, well, duh, you like a new beginning, a fresh start, and the white. It's just yeah, a she, fresh new beginning. True, and yeah. she, can always, she can I'm always like, come oh, up with something. Right. You're right. <laughs> Tell me more. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me more. Who do you think is the most successful country, country in mm. ceramics? Okay. I think Iran, from what I get, from, oh, from yeah, the messages yeah. I get. I think it's a very traditional art form there, and I think it's been going on for years and, and years, and I've never been to Iran, but from the connection yeah. on Instagram, I feel like Iran is not messing around with yeah, ceramics. Yeah. What about you? I, I think it's hard to say successful, because I think everyone brings different things from all around yes, the world, you know? Yes, true. But I've always loved Japanese pottery, because Ooh, it is yeah. so thin and light, it's like, I mean, it feels like paper sometimes when you hold it up, or China, yeah. There he goes. He says, not China. Not China. Yeah, so, well, I guess Colin yeah. is China, so. Yeah, so, yeah, China, Japan, I think that they have very intricate forms. They're very light, and a lot of them have, like, very intricate detail and um, brushwork on forms. So I think that's really cool because I could never do that. So anything that I yeah, can't I do, I always, so. yeah, look up to that. It's true. I do also look up to things I would never do myself, like, especially in teaching students. Um, it's always so flattering when I see pots. I'm like, oh, that reminds me of my own work. But yeah. it's so um, exciting to see something I would never do myself. Like, I don't yeah. know if you saw the art show, but my student Emma yeah. won second place with her red dragon. Oh, like, yeah. I, no, never I, saw, I could dragons. never do that. Yeah, see, that but kind of stuff like, is so wow. cool to me. Because then it's like it brings in the drawing painting from one side of the art aspect. And mm -hmm. then 3D, which the I love. Surface design. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great question. And I'm sure a lot of areas would argue that they have the best. Because Argentina, I also know, has a strong ceramic cultural influence there. Yeah. Well, he's not got you. Guys, if you're tuning in, Molly Sander, Colin Sandler. Colin Sandler, ceramics. Sander. Sander Sandler. It has been nice. Well. It does. And it's such a treat because Colin won Best in Show for ceramics his senior year as a ceramic yes. artist. Out of all the photography and drawing and painting and ceramics, Colin was the best in show for his it was, pottery. It was an honor, for sure. It was an mm -hmm. honor to watch him. Well deserved. Well deserved. Thank you. I think Thank part you. of why he won Best in Show is his hard work and dedication, which I think is what makes people yeah, better potters. For sure. I think, yeah, practice, 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 practice for practice. sure. I couldn't center or basically throw by myself for like my first two years of ceramics. I always had to have a teacher help me. But then just coming down for lunch and break and after school, before school. Taking advantage yeah. of that awesome studio. Yeah, for real. You might as well. Might as well. I try to tell them now. Take advantage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you never, no one at Trinity, if anyone's at They're Trinity They're right spoiled now, rotten. Yeah, they and really so are. And so am I. I mean, because yeah. I'm their yeah. <laughs> and I tell them that, and it's, I love it. It's, it's true. the best studio you ever. can ever imagine. It has everything you want for any type of form that you want to do, any type of medium. You have great teachers there to help you at all times. You can you get inspired from other students that are doing just as good of stuff. But and also, Colin was part of a program, the International Baccalaureate IB. Mm -hmm. so International Baccalaureate IB. He was in the IB art program, so he had to do a lot of research. It was very academic, and he would have to spend different rotations studying and researching a technique, and then switching up and studying and researching. Yeah. So it's very fun to watch. It's very fun for me to teach in a school that has IB because they're all learning and experimenting. I'm like, what you doing? Mm -hmm. what and you as doing? other students learn, you know, everyone learns because yes. you just you see it just in the studio. Your table could be next to someone doing completely different stuff, and yeah, it's really awesome to. It's so see fun. That. All right, look it's at that it's little, beautiful curved form. Just a little fun shape. Um, yeah. 
All from Shaping with the Red. So, yes! Yeah. So shall we do another? Yeah, let's do another. Where, where should like? I put this? I can put it right over here. Oh, right. So you don't even have to get up. Wow, she's <laughs> such a great host. Put it right there. <laughs> let's make sure it doesn't fall. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> nice. Yay, this is so fun. And if you're over here watching, I am hand building a flower pot-ish. So I am adding coils. So I'm kind of making sure that I'm drying it as much as I can. Like right now, I'm using a metal rib to take off the slip, which is extra moisture that I don't want. I'm gonna do that on the inside too, and I'll torch it. And then I'll once it's firm enough, I'll put another layer of coils on it. So what are you doing this summer? So actually this summer, um, I'm doing, doing a little bit of traveling. Yes! Much needed traveling. Yes! So Very I leave good. I leave next week. Oh my gosh. With my friend Jude. I don't know if she's Stop watching it. right now. Oh, did you not know this? No. Oh my god, no, we're gonna such fun up. <laughs> so just you and Jude? June and then uh, her sister Diane is meeting us for like the second half of the trip. But yeah, so I'm going to London first. I'll be there a day before her. I've never been, so I'm a little nervous. And you're nervous. gonna do it solo? Well, so it's like, okay, I get there the morning and then June leaves the next day, but since the time change, she gets and there gets that there night. night. Yeah, so I'll have like a full day. If anyone out there is from London, recommend London. stuff to do. Oh my yeah. gosh, that's where I fell in love with art. Really? I did a oh, summer cool. abroad in London and really? that's where I was like, this art thing is like yeah. cool. Oh my god, and those accents, hello. Oh my yes. gosh, and the diversity, like yeah, seriously. in America, the diversity might be like black and white. Yeah. Maybe white and black. Maybe Asian. But in London, I felt like there's Indian and Asian. There's like black and yeah. Chinese. It was, it was like, I just remember the diversity and the art was amazing. Yeah. Oh look, did you ever take Spanish? Hola. Oh, I did. Desde but... lo cabos. Oh wait. Hi, you're from, you're from Los Cabos. Cabos. Yes. Oh, I'm right. in Los Cabos. Something around those French. Vibes. I need to take Spanish. Yeah, I wish I was better at Spanish because it's a great language. It is a great language. Spanish is like the best. Yeah. So that's awesome. Y'all are just doing London? No, so we're doing London and then we're going to Amsterdam, our favorite place. Oh my gosh. Represent, represent Amsterdam. Have you ever been? We were we went last summer. So that's where we we're like, okay, this is the Are you and Jude besties? I love y'all's friendship. I love her. We I love, love her. Jude. I would yeah, she's she's great. I'm, I'm gonna miss her. I wish she was on right now, she could say a little hello. Yeah, Jude. We're showing you up. I know. But yeah, so we're doing London, Amsterdam, Paris, and then Valencia, Spain. Yeah. Are you gonna like Euro Rail around? Um, no, we just did like Airbnbs and flights because the Euro Rail it doesn't go to all the countries and right. it's like four hundred dollars and then flights are like fifty. Um, so you know, might as well. Just, yeah. That's amazing. I know. Oh, traveling yeah. is the best. I'm excited. It's gonna be great. Yes. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. Definitely spend your money on experiences as opposed to totally. I studied abroad for the first time ever in college. I did a Where did you study abroad? In I'm London. Oh, oh, I did a I JMU where I went to college was way too fun to give up a full yeah. semester. So I did the summer so I could do a summer abroad and not miss out on anything. What's your favorite country you've traveled to? So you know what? I don't get a lot of these people tuning in from this country, so I am gonna go ahead and say this, which yeah, maybe I shouldn't. Curious. I was going to say that every place I've traveled has been my favorite, except... What? And I've been, I've been to Portugal, Spain, France... Let me, let me, let me turn off the flame. Well, other than that. I've been to Turkey, Istanbul, really? I've been to Southeast Asia, I've been to Cape Town, um, I've been to Denmark, Amsterdam... Oh, you have been? Yeah, in I've been all yes. over Europe. I've not been to South America, um, and I've barely gotten off of the East Coast. I love everywhere. Everywhere I've been. Portugal was the biggest surprise of loving it and I did not want to go. I was like, oh, why really? Portugal? Amazing. Really? Okay. Loved Portugal. And then the place that I liked the least... What is it? France. Paris. Uh, yeah, see, I'm not excited for that part. Okay, well, <laughs> I shouldn't it. say What about that? Iceland? I hear Iceland is like all the rage. Oh, yeah. I, I hear food's expensive there, though. Is it? Yeah. But it's beautiful, apparently. I'm, apparently, it's like magazine everywhere. Like, it looks like you're just living in a... on Google Images. <laughs> oh, living on Google Images. Is that where you're from? Iceland? Where have you been? It sounds like Colin has a little European adventure this summer. I'm going yeah. to California this summer. Ooh. LA and San Diego. Oh, are you really? It's I've so never great. been, and I'm so You've excited. You've never been? Ooh. Never been. I've been to San Francisco. And that's it on the west, well, in Portland. 
Oh wait, do you love Portland? Because that's my dream. I went to go for to the Zika, the Clay Conference. Oh yeah, was it a cool and time? And I was by myself, and it was like the conference all day. It was like rainy and gross, uh, so I didn't love it. Yeah. But I didn't really also give it like a good turn, you know? Like I saw, was like I was there for vacation, Portland. Well, have you watched the show Portland yet? No. Okay. What well, does that say? You have to tour the SCSU Ceramic Studio. Is that a university? San Diego, Diego State University. Okay. Shit. Viva la resistance. I mean, let's be real though. I'm so thankful that I went to Paris because I saw Notre Dame. Oh yeah. I went to the Louvre, and that was all great. But the people were not kind to me. Were they, not? they were nice to me. Aww. Stop. <laughs> let's not answer some questions. Yeah. What are our questions right now? But yeah, the French people were like, "Oh, go away. You yeah. speak English," and I felt. I didn't like it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, what's the hardest part? This is from Carter Hall. Thanks, Carter. What's the hardest part about creating your own studio? And I have created mine, but I'm gonna let Colin, who has also created his. Yeah. So I would say the most I would say the most difficult part would probably be okay. Yeah. Hardest part. The hardest part of creating a studio, I would say, <laughs> number one, finding the space. Because yeah. you need you need space. It doesn't need to be huge. It can be in your garage. So I've even seen people that have them outside. But you just definitely need like a dedicated area because if it's in uh, your living room, you're not gonna you know it's gonna be well you know clay's messy. You can still so. do your living room. I yeah. know people who have, but it's just hard because it's dusty and it's yeah. gross and it's easier. And as long to as you have place. like a dedicated side, yes. just just you need you need your own space. A dedicated yeah. space. And I recommend anybody who's about to create their own studio. Do a walkthrough. Do a virtual walkthrough. Nothing's there currently, and you're building it, and you walk through it. Where are you going to keep your clay? Yeah. Where are you going to recycle your clay? Where are you going to wet your clay? Yeah. Where are you going to wash your hands? Where are you going to get your water? And we were talking earlier in the pre-show. Was it the pre-show, or was it, it was just a, for fun? It was a pre-show. We were talking earlier about the sink is yeah. such a luxury. You don't have to have a sink, but if you can get one, that's a yeah. luxury. Yeah, that's the only thing that my studio is kind of lacking out, just a normal normal kitchen countertop sink, and I think an industrial sink that has the clay, what is it, filtration or something like that? Well, I, I have like a grease trap under mine, okay, it's like yeah, a yeah. restaurant grease trap, and it still kind of gets clogged, and yeah. I think you have to unclog it every once in a while. What about from at River Gypsy 24 how does one make their own wax resist? Do you have a good recipe? We were talking about this a little bit um, before the show, and I don't, I've never seen a way to make your own wax, wax resist. We, yeah. we just buy ours. Yeah, we buy ours. We are spoiled again, and we have yeah. a local clay store, and we can go buy it. You can also get it on the internet. Yeah. Wax resist, or I feel like anything that's wax, like a candle. Oh, yeah, like a candle. Crayon. You can just rub a, a candle or a crayon on, like, on the bottoms of your yeah, faces. Yeah, any wax, nothing's going to put yeah. where you put wax, so you want to be careful with it, too. And it, yeah, you do need to be careful with that. Um, how do you balance being an art teacher and an artist? I feel like everyone's an artist, mm -hmm. everyone, every human being is an artist, and to allow yourself time to create is what really makes you an artist. We're all artists, but maybe you don't give yourself time to create. So I just try to maybe sign up for a show so I have something to look forward to to create. Mm -hmm. Or like in the summer, like right now, I'm just totally playing. Like yeah. this might just be recycled. It was already recycled clay. So as long as you're creating, you're an artist, and I think it is and important. And you kind of get the best of both, because you're an art teacher and you're an artist. Yeah, so and I teach of... at the best school ever. Yeah. I was not always at a school as nice as where I am now, and it's, I feel like, in hindsight, looking at my art teachers, the ones who were creating, the ones who were artists, were the most inspiring to me. So I feel like it's kind of a duty as an art teacher yeah. to show what it's like to also be an artist. So I feel like, you know, you sign up yeah. for shows and you make and you do things and you're improving. So I, I think it's just fun. And then I have my days where I decompress and I do nothing. Everyone needs those days. Yeah, Duh. get a pedicure, <laughs> go on a trip somewhere. Yeah. So the balance. All right, the last, I think, questions. Talked about that one. Okay, I think we got them all. Did you teach them balance? Yeah. Yeah. All right, we never mapped where y'all are from, but let's keep throwing. Yeah. All right, you're going to... So we'll answer Colin, any questions live, so ask away. Yeah, ask sure. away. And thanks for tuning in and commenting and emojis. Yeah. We I'm love emojis here. adding quails <laughs> to this. And you know what I should do is take a needle tool and cut this off-centered part off and then add my next quails. Mm. I've kind of been not doing that.
So now I have a flat surface. I'm going to add another layer of coils. This is a little still on the wet side, so I might torch it a little more. Well, if you're tuning in, guys, Colin Sandler Ceramics. Hi. So Colin, it's kind of funny because, so he took ceramics. The first time you ever took ceramics was in high school? Yep. So I first started my freshman year of high school. Uh, instantly fell in love with clay. I wouldn't say I fell in love with throwing because it was very frustrating at first. All my stuff broke and just got very, very annoying. We but, all know that. Yeah, we all know that. Um, but then, yeah, so I just really started to keep like practicing, keep working harder and looking up things like tips and tricks on YouTube, Instagram. And yeah, I've been doing it since ninth grade, so that was, you know, my brain does not work sometimes. Seven years ago? Yeah. That's a crazy so thing. crazy. So, it's yeah, so I know, crazy. It's so, it's so crazy. I, like, it feels like I have recently just started, too. Cause, like, I can think back to my first day, and I had no idea what I was doing, and... Yeah. Well, that's what I think is fun about learning. this, is that, yeah, we all, if you've ever thrown a pot, you always remember when you had no idea what you were doing. Yeah, yeah. You always remember. So... Colin is going to be throwing cylinders and shaping them. He just mm -hmm. did one, and I am kind of hand building, adding coils to this, what will be a planter. I'm using recycled clay. It's a little on the soft side, which is why I was trying to torch it and firm it up a bit, and I'm just kind of squeezing out some coils. I never wedged this, so it could just have cracks all in it, but I'm just having fun tonight. It's good to have fun. It's just fun to have really fun. fun. It is fun to have fun. It's fun to have fun. Should we cheers? Cheers! I, mean, I feel like we need to cheers. Yes. We need to cheers. I love cheers. <laughs> Cheers. And I love, thanks for being here, Colin. Yeah. And I love that, Colin, I always let people pick their cups. Mm -hmm. And he picked Frank with the gold. And I, I love to. that. Yeah. I love it. Had to. I love it. So I um, have actually just signed up for, after Arts in the Park, Arts in the Park was a lot of yeah, work. Yeah, how was it? It's a lot of work. Yeah. And, and it always rains. And I <laughs> always say I'm not going to do it again. And then I do it again. And... I'm like, I'm going to take a break from that. And I just signed up for a show at, in Scott's Edition. Ooh. Which, which I feel like Scott's Edition yeah. is fun. Yeah. And I think it'll be fun. Where in Scott's Edition? I don't even know. Oh, really? So it's like cool. the last weekend in June. It's just one day on a Sunday. Okay, cool. So I feel like I already have some stuff I'll take yeah. there. So I can kind of just play right now. And it's fun to play. And it's fun to have things break because that's when you learn but sometimes it's hard because you're like oh I don't want to recycle it and, yeah and I feel like the newer of a potter you are the more heartfelt things are when they break oh yeah and if you don't really get to the wheel too often and yes. you like put all your time yes. to something and it breaks and you're like well it's I'm done it's emotional yeah. <laughs> yes I've had times where when I've had a big piece I've been working on breaks I'll be gone from the studio for like two weeks because I'm just not angry yeah, yes yeah. <laughs> and you have to be in the same like yeah. I took his go, go and exhale that yeah go yeah. exhale that yeah. because the clay feels it yeah well the good news is all clay can be recycled so yes. that exact same pot that just broke is going to be something else one day and, that's right yeah. live to tell another story mm -hmm. so this one you can see and I was also telling Colin that you know we are live so who knows this whole thing could collapse I don't know but the beauty is sharing the process. So, like, right now, I know that this part right here is, like, too wet. Like, look. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> That's, like, way too wet. But am I stopping? No. Is this probably going to collapse because of that? Probably. <laughs> but it's just we're having fun. Yeah. Today. So I'm just going to kind of play and I keep adding coils. And this is one of my favorite ways of throwing bigger pots is just... Let the base dry, add a quail. Let the base dry, add a quail. Yeah. And then, oh, awesome. I didn't tell you. So Colin, we were talking before, and he was saying how he loves to just throw big. Mm -hmm. So you've been throwing sectionals. Yes. And he wants to throw as big as his kiln. Well, guess what the class I'm taking this summer is what? called? What is it called? Building big with a small kiln. What? Yes. Ooh, how does that work? Because I too have always wanted to throw like really yeah. big pots, but I don't necessarily want to throw them. I want to yeah. create like outdoor sculptures. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like no, big. me too. Me too. Big. Yeah. So I'm really excited because the instructor I mentioned on my story today, like it'd be fun while I'm out there to do a third of Molly with her. Yeah. Oh, and I'll definitely be like sharing what I'm learning and stuff, especially for my members. Yes. She knows members. But, um,. Yeah, it's about like epoxies and like after firing. Oh yeah. See, that was always my wonder because if you're gonna do a piece, at least for me, like I do stagger firing and it's just non-functional. Yeah, it is non-functional. And if you stagger them 
in sections, it, it's like all up to nature. So mm -hmm. if you attach them, they could look different. So, mm -hmm. you know, yes. that's what I always was wondering too. But yeah, if you biscuit first and then yes. I'm sure there's ways to. And even glaze, like she makes these figures that are like eight feet tall. Jeez, that's crazy. It's crazy. So that's last so cool summer though. I took a welding class to learn how to weld oh, yeah. steel structures. Hello, thanks for tuning in. Look at the hey, ladies. Thanks for tuning hi. in, guys. So last summer I took that welding class to learn how to weld to make like a structural base for sculptures, mm -hmm. I guess. And because you know Trinity has a welding room. Do they really? But Is this new? No. Uh, and I, I found out they had a welding room. I found out there was a welding room, and then I found out that they don't want anyone using the welding room. Oh, really? So I came back and I had no resources to continue learning the welding. Oh no. So this summer I found this workshop called Building Big with a Small Cone. I was like, ding, ding, ding. Love it. Yeah, I love it. I hope that it um, covers like outdoor yeah. art because I was just showing Colin my backyard and how I made these larger planters last summer. Yeah, they they great. shattered though in the. Yeah, well, the one that's still there looks awesome. The one that's still there. Looks, and that was the method I'm doing now. It's like nice and tall because I just coiled it. So did you fire that in this kiln right here? Yeah, this kiln right here. Kiln right here. Which, this kiln right here is, it's a pretty big kiln. When I bought it, they were like, are you going to be able to fill that? And I was like, yeah. Yeah, duh. <laughs> don't yeah. question my abilities. Yeah, don't question <laughs> my abilities. But then there have been times when I'm like, oh, man, I wish I had a smaller kiln yeah, to, yeah. like, fire up a couple. So do you ever, do you like, always wait till it's completely full before you fire it? Good question. No. Okay, neither do I. And I've heard no. that that's bad. It is bad. I've heard that, too. Yeah, it's like I guess it's a waste of energy too. But. It is a waste of energy too. And I feel like when I was learning ceramics, there was all the traditional potters and they always made me feel so judged. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I feel like there's always somebody that's going to judge you, but if it works for you, it works for you. Yeah, exactly. And if it Stay works best. for you, who's going to check you boat? Do you yeah. know what that is? Check your boat. <laughs> <laughs> no one ever knows yeah. this. If my sister is on your show, I said, who's going to check? Is it who's going to check me boo? It's the Real Housewives. Oh, Atlanta, wait, I've ever, uh, so yeah, I watched Beverly Hills. Atlanta, Atlanta. Do you it's ever watch Beverly okay. Hills? Yeah. Okay, love oh that. Oh my god, everybody hates LVP right now. Do they really? Okay, well, I, I can say up to date because I don't have cable, so I just oh. have to wait until it comes out on Hulu. What? On Hulu. And Bravo it comes, comes out on Hulu? Yeah, because I want, but it's not, it's not like, uh, it's not like the day of, it's like a year later. So like, I'm like, <laughs> oh. one season back. Oh. Yeah. Good luck. Sucks, oh, thank yeah. you, Amir. Good now I'm just going to use a wire and just boop while it spins and level off this lip. Ooh, that's I've a nice seen, little trick. I've seen people use a, a, what's it called? A toothpick thing, like the flosser. That's like, boop. Oh, yeah. So this is just extra clay. Now it's level and I can add another coil. Oh, and Colin's working on, if you're just tuning in, Molly Sander. Colin, Colin Sandler. Sandler. I've been tagging him. Hey, right back at you. And Hi, Colin was a ceramic student. He was never my student. But when I became a high school ceramics teacher, Colin was going into the International Baccalaureate program, which is what Amy Chaplin, my coworker who has been on here. We love her. We love her. <laughs> Colin was her student. And what does that say? This art has to be seen in Iran. See? Oh, yeah. There's a lot of pottery in Iran. I was just representing for you in Iran. Yeah, she was. She loves I Iran. Was. People said that China had the most, um, what was even the Successful question? pottery. Successful. But that's a hard term. Because what is success, you know? Anything. Such as art, yeah. like who's today. <laughs> but yeah, so Colin was not my student. He won Best in Show, though, because he was our best ceramic student of his graduating class. I mean, so sweet. I should remember who else was in your class. They might be watching. Yeah, I can name, but should we? <laughs> uh, I can't remember. It was like... We can was, give... uh, yeah, Michael Bannon always got Oh, yeah, plays. Michael Bannon. Um, Allie Hyde. Allie Hyde. Who else? I'm a ceramic student also, but unfortunately, I don't know how to throw on the wheel. Uh -huh. Well, it's a skill, just like learning how to tie yeah. a shoe or ride your bike. So it's weird at first, and then you catch on, and then you can never forget. Yeah, that's true. I mean, even on days where I can't center, like, you just, it's like a natural feeling that you, I don't know, it just clicks. Can't like, for me, it. it clicked after two years, and one day I was just like, wait, I can do this. And it just started happening. Never went and back. Yeah, yeah, so... But then you kind of know, like, if it's off-center, you know why. You start realizing your mistakes and what you can do to 
work and improve on the next one, and you learn from every pot. So. Well, and that's exactly what I've had potters who have been throwing for years, and we get questions like, what makes a successful potter? And their response, these potters who have been throwing forever, their response to what makes a successful potter is when you're able to correct your own mistakes. Yeah. Which is kind of what you just said. Mm. And now you can do it. And look at this tall, thin cylinder. So Colin's been shaping, and if we run out of time, which I think we might, we'll finish on the after show for all the members, which we did the pre-show yes. earlier. And But Colin's all about using the rib to create some yeah. strength. And so I'm trying to get it to a taller cylinder before I start shaping. I'm just doing a couple last pulls. And I was saying earlier, too, the rib really helps with shaping because you can push into it or even use it to push like back into, in, into the pot, I guess. And it's nice because if you're ever nervous about breaking your walls if they're too thin or knocking it off center, it's good to have like that st stability of the rib on the outside. So. Which sometimes I think you need to push through. You need to trim through. You need to yeah. push the clay to then be like, oh, okay, that's how far I can yeah. Which, if you're on Throne with Molly, one of the challenges was a berry bowl. So when you trim, you put your first hole in, and then you're like, whoa, it's so really thick. Yeah. And so by putting in that first hole, you're really you're able to still put it back on and trim more, and then learn how far you could have really trimmed. What do you use to make your holes for the berry bowls? I use a feathling knife, what which you do? we you mentioned twist? earlier. It just twists like a screwdriver. Oh, yeah. Because the further in you push, the wider the holes get. Guys, yeah, this is so fun having Colin. It yeah. took forever until I turned 21. I know. But Emily. here he is. He was a high am. school. He never threw until high school. Cheers. 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 He never threw until high school. He's in VCU, which is the number one public arts school in America. Yes, it is. But he's not a ceramic major. Not a ceramic major. But it's not slowing his skill. It's not. And there's not. art inspiration all around me. Which... All around helps too. And I feel like, and Colin's living proof, you don't need a ceramics degree yeah. to become a potter. You just need the skill. Or just the passion too. Because like I was saying, I think passion. skill, a lot of it you just learn as you go. And as long as you have passion to keep going and learning, then yeah, you'll you Yeah, get you can it. find teachers everywhere. Yeah. YouTube, the yeah, internet. Yeah, YouTube for me was, I guess, I didn't really realize that Instagram was so big on, or sorry, ceramics wasn't so big on Instagram until maybe like after high school, but YouTube was kind of the way that I did it. And a lot really? Of, a lot of, yeah. But then, I guess, it was kind of when I saw your account, actually, and I was starting to click on related accounts and seeing, I know. You, you went down the internet hole. You went down the internet hole. Yeah, yeah. You go on that explore page yeah. and sucked in for hours. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would love to meet you. I'd love to meet you, too. And if you want to meet Colin, I have a summer, a two-day summer workshop up on my website. And the first day, it's for all skill levels, but it is capped at, I think, eight or ten students. So sign up fast. There's this couple spots left, and we're going to do the first day throwing on the wheel. No experience needed. You're going to make some pots. Then we're going to preheat them in the kiln overnight. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do this one fire, like raccoon firing, where it's non-functional but decorative the second day. So the second day, we'll raccoon, and it's fire, and it's fun. So, and I'm hoping maybe Colin will come out yeah. and you can meet Colin too. You can yes, meet, I would love to meet Colin. Everyone. It would be so fun. Um, passion, passion is, is so important. important. Such yeah. is life, you know? Like, if you love it, you're never working a day in your life, so yeah, to say. And definitely. if you love it, it's just fun. And I feel like being a continuous learner is very important. Yeah. Oh, we only have two minutes left. No. But that's okay. We'll go to the after show and we yeah. can finish shaping. But guys, what a treat. It is so fun for me to have watched Colin yeah. over the years. And he didn't have a studio. He was a student just learning. Oh, look, the Middle East. Uh, I'm part uh, Lebanese, so Middle East. Love it. I want to visit one day. But anyways, Colin has bloomed into this potter. He's not a ceramics major. He's not getting a BFA. No. But he's crushing yeah. it. He's crushing it. Keep doing it. Keep yeah. doing it. Keep getting inspiration and learning and trying new things. And if you follow him, he's doing a bunch of sagar firing, yes. which is non-functional, decorative with chemicals, miracle Grow, and what other? Ferns, Fair aluminum foil, yeah, ferrochloride acid, yeah. salt, baking soda. So follow Colin, Colin yes. Sandler Ceramics. I'll be tagging him. This was yeah. so fun. He, he's been doing like three foot pots. Yeah. That's sectional. My latest, So this is yes. just a, a taste, yes. a taste of his shape. <laughs> We'll have yeah. to get back on. Yeah, too. for sure. I'd love to come. Do you have anything where people can check you out? Are you doing a yeah. show with your... Uh, well, actually, right now, I have a couple of pieces in this new store in Scott's Edition called Stuff RBA. 
and it's actually Claire Adams' mom's store. Yeah. So um, that's where I'm holding. Yeah, some of the pe my actually those three pieces that I put on Instagram recently are in there. So that's check major. that out. That's yeah. major. Yeah. So you don't need a major to be major. That's true. That's right. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so cool. I'm so yeah, proud of you. Yeah, that's thank awesome. you. I didn't know that. I know, yeah, super cool. So, so guys, cheers, members. We'll be catching you over on the after yes, show. Yes, we will. Cheers. cheers. And guys, if you're tuning in, I told him he's only allowed two drinks. Or only else. two drinks. Yeah. Yes. And then, so don't worry, mother, if you're watching or mm. anyone else, because you're being safe and sound. Cheers, everybody. We are. See y'all next Monday. See or no, you guys. Oh. Next Monday.